Welcome to Mathematics with Ams, Grade 11, Third Equations. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Let's just first some theory. Before dealing with simple third equations, it is important to discuss the concept of non-real numbers. Now, in Grade 10, you studied real numbers, rational and irrational numbers, and will now introduce non-real numbers. If x is greater or equal to 0, then the expression the square root of x will be a real number. For example, the square root of 4, the square root of 5, minus the square root of 6, the square root of 0 are all real numbers, since the number under the square root signs are positive. Please note that the square root of 9 is 3, and not plus or minus 3. The, the sign square root is defined to be positive square root of 9. However, if x is less than 0, then the expression the square root of x will be a non-real number. For example, square root of negative 1, negative 4, negative 5 are non-real numbers since the numbers under the square root signs are negative. Some important principles are worth mentioning. Principle 1. The expression square root of a will only be real if a is greater or equal to 0. If a is less than 0, then the expression will be non-real. Principle 2. Square root of a is never equals to ne a negative number. And principle 3, the square of the square root of a is a. Right, let's look at a few examples. So for x, if possible, of course. Let's look at a. The square root of x minus 1 minus 3 equals to 0. Take note that minus 3 is outside the side. So the first step is to transfer the 3 to the right hand side. Then you square both sides. So you square the left hand side, you get x minus 1. And if you square the right side, you get 9. So therefore, x equals to 10. Look at b, the same example here. Transfer 3 becomes minus 3. And of course, now, if you find the square root, on both sides, if you square both sides, you will see that you will actually get no solution. Right, so if you look at C, square root of 2 minus 7x plus 2x equals to 0. Again, we transfer 2x to the right hand side, you get minus 2x. And of course, now if you square both sides, you get 2 minus 7x equals to 4x squared. Transfer all the terms to the one side factorize and you get x a quarter or x minus 2. It is important to check whether each answer is actually a solution to the equation. So if you go back to b, if you try and solve b, then you will, if, if you test the answer, it will be, it, or rather it will not satisfy the equation. So if you test the two answers for c, you first do x equals to a quarter into the left hand side, you get a half. And if you put it into the right hand side, you get minus half. So therefore, the left hand side is not equal to the right hand side. So therefore, x a quarter is not a solution. Right. And of course, the other answer is x equals to minus 2. We put minus 2 into the left hand side, we get a 4. Put it into the right hand side, you get another 4. So there you are, left hand side equals to the right hand side. So therefore, the acceptable solution is x equals to minus 2. Right, so that's an exercise. Please work through each and every example to make sure you can do it and the solutions will appear on the next page. So here's your solution to the exercise. So please do yourself a favor. Make sure that you can get all these answers. Right, this is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with Ams. Please make sure you give me a huge like and don't forget to subscribe. Subscription is free.